Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about drum racks. Now, there's two drum racks. There's Impulse, which is more of like a stripped down version of drum rack. Uh, it looks like so. Not too exciting. If you know how to use the drum rack, you can use that one. And you really should be using this one anyway. It's uh, supported by push and it's more, you know, kind of better. All right, so basically you have, this will work on uh, any MIDI keyboard as well, but I'm using push. Uh, the C, C sharp, D, D sharp. So what it does is uh, you go up the keyboard and it's kind of like one shot and you can load samples in there. So let's do that. We'll add a kick drum and you just drag and drop, right? And it opens up a sampler. We already know how to use sampler. Right, uh, and let's add uh, yeah, let's add some melts. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll we'll add a clap. All right, we have a clap here. Cool. Right, and each one of these is is case sensitive. So what it is is you're taking a synth and you're kind of only playing one key, but each pad is a separate synth. Right, you can do other fun things. You can add. You can add a VST and it'll play a fixed note, which would be C. So we'll do that now. All right, we have analog. So what we can do here is, no, not analog, what am I doing? Operator, yeah, you basically drop it in there. We have operator and let's see. All right, so we'll take uh, the envelope down and we'll play around with our pitch. All right, so we have like kind of a weird percussion-y bit there. So, right, so each one of these is a sample. All right, we're gonna drag it in here. We're gonna set it so uh, we wanna work with a bar. So we set our grid so that every one of these little grids is one bar. We'll loop it, we'll right click, we'll create a MIDI clip, and we'll open our MIDI editor. And it's down here, and you'll notice that each of these is kind of sensitive right you can unfold it and it doesn't do that anymore you can fold it again and each one is sensitive to what you're playing right so we only have uh, we only have three uh one shots in each of the pads we can have multiple pages of pads like scaling up the keyboard so this is middle c and it's basically what that sounds like uh i'll do that so yeah what i'll do is i'll just quickly you can't really see it but you get the idea We'll just drop in a kick. Oops. All right, and another thing we can do, we can just drag that, just drag it over. All right, and we'll take our little operator one shot stab and we'll do sixteenths. Right, so we could take what we learned there. All right, we'll make another chain. So each of these is kind of self-contained. What I'll do now is uh, we'll add a filter to that. We can solo it. All right, all right, let's get rid of that help section. We don't need help. Right, and then we'll take that and we will give her some redux. Right, and then we'll compress. Do you even compress, bro? And then we'll add some delay. You can just keep on doing this and it's per uh, pad that you're working with. Right, so now we have something that sounds a little bit more interesting. We'll add utility to bring the volume down. And yeah, this is basically how it, whoops, how your drum rack would work in real life. I'm going to show you something else. So say if you have, excuse me, if you have a loop that you really like. So we'll, yeah, we'll just drag it in here. All right, I'm going to show you something. All right, so we have this loop here. 
uh, we have our editing window open. So what I want to do is, this is like kind of your introduction to warping. You want to double click to make yellow markers for each of these guys, right? So we have our kind of loopy here, right? And the grayed out areas are what we're not going to use. All right, so we have that. All right, so here's a cool part. Oops. You right click on the actual bar here and you go slice to new MIDI track and this will slice it. You, you create one slice per warp markers. The yellow things are warp markers. And you use, yeah, built in. All right, slicing preset, warp marker, yes. Built in, okay. And then it makes it right into its own kind of drum rack, right? So then you have it available to you here. Right, so I'll show you. Oops. Each slice the beginning one that because there's nothing there so basically we chopped some stuff up and made some cool sounds that way uh and yeah that is your basic drum rack so if, if you know uh the impulse is kind of like a light version of a sampler uh yeah, so basically, it'll split it, again, I'm back to what this was, it'll split it into MIDI tracks. And it'll play it incrementally. So what you can do from there is, you can go in and you can edit it around. And uh, chop it up and change it around, stuff like that. This is kind of, you know, you don't need that. And then you, you can just build a groove out of just drum racks. Probably a little bit more elegant than I am, but you get the idea. And that is drum racks. All right. Uh, take care and have a good one.